everybody and welcome to Mika's Kitchen. Today is Super Bowl Sunday and I'm going to be showing you how to make some simple Super Bowl food. So today I'm going to make some Rotel dip. So you're going to have your ground chicken or your ground beef. You're going to have your Tostitos cheese. You're going to have your, well I use mild, you can use hot Taco Bell sauce. Your Rotel and you're going to season with your garlic powder season salt and pepper that's it all right we're gonna go over and we're gonna turn our stove on all right so my team really not didn't go to the super bowl but that's okay that's okay make us some yummy little super bowl treats all right you're gonna use your ground beef or your ground turkey or whatever type of meat you like to use you know i'm using ground chicken because my family don't eat the ground beef all right we're going to get our seasonings and we're going to season our meat up so i'm using my seasoned salt i'm using larry seasoning salt okay and i'm going to use some garlic powder all right and some pepper. All right, and with your Rotel, you can use hot or you can use mild. I chose to use mild because it already got the chili peppers in it, so you can pretty much use whatever you like. And I use the sauce because it, you know, just give it a good flavor and it stresses out your sauce so your sauce ain't so thick because I'm using the Tostitos cheese, so that's why I'm using this, but it's really, really good using this. So, guys, gotta try it out. All right, we're gonna ground our meat up, and I'll come back and show you guys how to mix it up. All right, everybody, I'm back, and I have my meat all grounded up and cooked up nice and good. So now we're gonna add in our rotel. So you're gonna add it with the juices. So you just add the whole can of that. And depending on how much you're making, you depend on how many cans of Rotel you need. So I don't need but one can, so that's all I'm gonna use. Okay. And then you're gonna put your sauce. You're gonna add the whole bottle of the sauce. Like I say, this is gonna depend on how much you're making. So the whole bottle of that go in. And with your cheese, you can use you can use the glass cheese or you can use whatever kind of cheese you like. Like you can use the um um I'll think about it in a minute. Um got a brain freeze, y'all. I'm gonna use two cans of these, or two jars of the um, cheese. And you wanna use two cans because you don't want it to be real thick. The cheese I was trying to think of is Velveeta, y'all. Woo, that was frying my brain. Okay, so like I said, you can use the Velveeta cheese or you can use the, the Tostitos cheese. I like using the Tostitos cheese. Okay, so we're gonna put two jars of this or you can get one big jar sometimes i find a big jar and sometimes i don't depends on what store, store i go to so two cans of that okay and we're gonna stir it up real good like this so you guys what team are you guys going for you're going for the buccaneers or you're going for tampa bay I'm gonna go for Tampa because I'm from Florida, so it's not my team, but that's what time that's what team I'm going for. Alright, so you're gonna let this cook down for about I say about five minutes. And then we'll come back and I'll show you the finishing product. Alright you guys, and I'm back, and this is how your rotel dip should look. 
See? Just like that. All right, you guys, and I'll show you how everything look plated up. See you guys soon.